John. And tidy us up. Uh, hi. I'm going to follow up with a lot of the same ideas and, and come to a slightly different conclusion. But um, uh, So I, I have a long, obnoxious title, but the title should just be that reproducibility stack that Bjorn discussed a couple seconds ago of biocon and biocontainers is ideal for computational platforms. So he made the case that's great in general for bioinformatics. I want to make the case that it's especially great for computational platforms. Um, some things that Conda have. Now, I'm a huge fan of Geeks um, and Debian and Homebrew. and they're, they're all fantastic, and I use a couple of those different ones in my own work. But when I think about Galaxy and platforms like Galaxy or tooling like CWL tool, uh, three things that are really important that no, none of those have, but the, that com none of them have the combination of these three, but, but Conda does, is that it's HPC ready, you know, no, no root privileges are needed, it's cross-platform, it runs on Mac, OS X, and Windows, and um, it's easy to manage and maintain, not just install multiple versions of uh, the same recipe. Um, so these are the features that, that sort of led us to use Conda. Um, other platforms have made similar choices, such as SnakeMake that Bjorn mentioned. Um, and, and so, but if, if you, so, so that's the Conda piece, but the, the, getting down into the nitty-gritty of the containers piece, um, this is what, you know, in, in Galaxy traditionally, or CWL, or, or NextFlow, generally when you have um, tools or modules in your workflow system, um, you, you annotate the, the Docker um, image explicitly, but as they mentioned, you know, this is, this is a black box, right? It's, it's, there's real problems with this, and you should be annotating the package. And so this is why maybe you haven't heard that Galaxy does Docker, because we, we, don't adver we haven't aggressively advertised it until now, but now we're, we're, we're finally very confident that, you know, we can specify, we specify these package annotations we always have because it allows us to install on HPC systems, and we can now get the same containers uh, using bio containers, uh, as, as Bjorn mentioned. So we can automatically find or build um, containers for all of our best practice tools. And so having containers for all of our tools and built from the annotations means that our thousands of tools now all have containers, and our, our tool authors didn't do any of the work to do that. Um, and so now we have containers for all of our tools, and we've, it's enabled us to do some cool things. I gave a, a longer talk at the GCC about a month ago um, that, that has some of these details, such as adding singularity support to Galaxy and native container scheduling through Kubernetes and Mesos that's now possible since we have containers for tools. And Bjorn talked a little about our, our Galaxy library support for doing some of these things. Um, I just want to briefly mention that we, one of the cool things we've done with the Galaxy library support is put um, support for both the Conda dependency resolution and bio containers into CWL tool. So this concept of having uh, reproducibility outside of the container and inside of the container is now available um, in CWL tool, and there's an open pull request uh, to add it to Toil as well. Um, it's a short talk, so I'm not going to go into the details, but there are flags for both Conda to use Conda dependencies or these bio containers um, when running um, these two different implementations of CWL. And I'd, I'd love to see other CWL implementations sort of adopt these ideas. Um, a, qu a quick application from the first big user of this, uh, uh, James Taylor. He, uh, a bunch of he had a ChipSeq workflow uh, following in code best practices, had a bunch of different tools, um, worked all great on Docker using like explicit bio container annotations, but then he needed to run it on local HPC resources. Um, and HPC resources that I'm assuming weren't, didn't have singularity available. So we tried to build a big global environment, sort of hack it together, and there were conflicting dependencies. So um, it just wasn't going to work. But building these per tool conda environments, um, the way we've done in Galaxy traditionally and, and you can now do in CWL tool, uh, just worked out of the box. Um, and I'll, I'll just say a quick thing about this Galaxy lib library support that's in CWL tool and will hopefully be in Toil soon, is that it's not just for Conda. So it's an entire plugin system, uh, uh, and there's, there's support in there for environment modules and some experimental support for Homebrew, for instance. Michael has promised support for Debian. I'll buy these guys some beers and convince them to add geeks. Um, and, and I think this will really enable CWL on HPC in a way that I think it's uh, been kind of problematic up till now. Yeah, those are the key points, but I just said them. Um, Thanks to a bunch of different people. This is a huge community project, and uh, we're also hiring. Talk to James Taylor or Anton. Um, thanks. <laughs>